Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Overfall. Uh, let's see, so first off, if I sound a little bit weird, it's because I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm not using my usual setup, so sorry about that. But anyway, so, welcome to Overfall. It's a tactical RPG with uh, procedurally generated story elements, side quests, and enemies and whatnot. It's sort of roguelike-y, uh, only the fact that if you die, you start over. Uh, but that's not, that's not so bad. I don't know. I, I like games like this. It means that there's technically a lot of content in there, even if it gets a little bit repetitive. Uh, but it's got, it's got pretty nice gameplay, and it's, I don't know, it's fun. Comes out, I think, the beginning of March, like March 3rd, somewhere in there. Uh, so generally would recommend taking a look at that one, and, uh, or taking a look at this one. If you like games like, you know, Darkest Dungeon, Guild of Dungeoneering, Banner Saga, uh, Fire Emblem, sort of. I don't know, it's a little bit more personal than Fire Emblem, but whatever. I played this game back when it was on Kickstarter, uh, lost the recording, and then the Kickstarter ended and I couldn't get the demo anymore. So anyway, uh, so you start with two characters, a cleric and a fighter guy. Eventually you get more classes that you can use, but right now we only have access to these two. There's some customization, but I can't do anything with it, so let's just enter that portal. I presume I don't think I can change any of these. Yep, okay. Remember, reputation is everything, Jesus Christ. That thing looks horrifying. I love the art for this game, it's nice and hand-painted. So, uh, let's see, I can't believe my eyes. Oh, you made it through the portal and back to your home world. Uh, I can't believe my eyes, you're them. It's been three centuries since you entered that portal, and now you're back. Uh, oh, I see. Uh, we've been here before, we know it all. Yeah, so if you've been through this, you can skip past it, but uh, seeing as I lost my first recording for this, and god, I hope I didn't lose- I'm not gonna lose this one. Uh, let's just go through it again. So, three centuries has passed how? With his eyes open wide, the old man explains as much as he can. Gods know, for generations my family waited for your arrival. Right at this spot. I'm the lucky one to fulfill our family prophecy. Now. I think there's been an anomaly in time. When we enter the portal... You have the wisdom to understand the difference. But, not many could foresee this would happen, except for the one wizard. Why have you been waiting for us? Almighty wizard, Azel, gave this quest to my great-grandfather for the day you will return. The world isn't the same since you left. The Everking has gone missing. It, Almighty Everking has gone missing? He continues, The citadis, Citadel has vanished long ago. No one knows why and how, but Azel left my family a message to hide and deliver to you for the day when he comes. Oh, for when this day comes. A message? From an old torn parchment, in his hands, the old man reads the message. Two beacons will be unsealed. Only to those who are revered, their light will unveil the path to your king. Only when the races of Dis deem you worthy. Then we should introduce ourselves to the leaders of Dis first, if we are to find these beacons. That's true. Then you should make your way up they're up in their society, first. Times have changed, the world is in chaos. What do you mean? The races are at war with each other. You have to choose sides, I'm afraid. On the bright side, if there is any, the message says two beacons. The races are at war with each other? The orcs are at war with the Forsaken, the elves with the hollows, the dwarves with the goblins. If you help one side, they will help you back in finding their beacon. And the one their enemy has. Thanks for everything you've done. We better be on our way now. Farewell. Okay. So, here we are, world map. It's, I mean, I'm flying around in a, uh, flying around, going around in a boat. I've got, uh, limitations on food. These are reputations. That's how you get quests and whatnot. This is the party. Uh, once I get, I can get two more party members. I see. So due to the lack of recognition in the world, adventures of Dis won't even bother to help you on your car, cause. And there's also, like, a time of day situation here. So we want to run into one of these ships. Okay, so, this ship is crewed by hollows of different types, who stare at you demandingly. Uh, ask if they need any help. Mark an island on your map. It's not much, uh, it's not much far away. It's not too far away. Uh, see if you can set, sort things out for our brothers over there. Okay, cool. Uh, sail on. We could also attack them, but that's probably a bad move. Okay, so let's, let's have, head over to this island, or maybe this one. Okay, let's stop here. Buy something to eat, return to your ship, talk with the man staying over there. Play a game of cards? No. Okay, let's see if we can buy some food. I don't know. Oh, frag. Frag is money. Let's buy some snacks. Okay. Uh, just tell me what's 
indispensable fuel for you. Carrots. Okay. So we get we get some food. Perfect. Now let's uh, let's set sail. So I'm out of money now. However, I do have some extra provisions, so we should be able to go around without too many issues. Unless the game freezes and crashes, and then it's bad daytime. Hopefully I can reload from where I am, otherwise I'm just gonna skip ahead. Because obviously we haven't gotten very far. Okay, so, it looks like uh, it just drops us off where we were. I don't- did we get the extra food? Yeah, we did. Okay, awesome. You walk into a group of lizard hollows having an argument. They have ganged up against one of their own, making fun of him about his lack of climbing skills. After they leave, the Lizard Hollow asks for your help. Agree to help. He explains he was born with a disability. His feet aren't as sticky as they should be, so he's having a hard time climbing the walls. He wants you to find some glue, so you could, uh, so you could apply to his feet. Let's go find some glue. Okay, he says there's an artificer living on a nearby island who might possess some glue. Go find the artificer. Okay, so fetch quests are plenty. Uh, let's head over to this island. Chances are we're going to run into a boat. Somebody's going to attack us at some point, but let's just do quests for people for the time being. So, trade for one food. Trade for one dust. Do I have dust? I do have dust. Uh, apparently it's a drug. It can also be used to alter the movement speed of the ship for a short period of time using the space key. Okay. So let's give him, let's give him some dust. We probably don't need that right now. Okay, Nods hands you a vial. Let's stick together. Uh, pleasure doing business with, you. business with you. Whatever. Let's just go back. We'll probably run into this boat. Hi, boat. Ahoy, heroes. Uh, heard any rumors of Discord? We get another quest. Beautiful. So, this is, as far as I can tell, a lot of like what this game is about, just doing quests and stuff. I don't mind that, though. It's actually kind of fun. So we get Hollow Reputation 2 and 4 Dust. Nice. Uh, obviously, we're still going to need more food, but at least we... Uh, got a little bit further. There's also a human settlement, but, meh. Okay, what's this over here? Aiding the humans, 2.8 days. So, yeah, we get a lot of randomly generated quests just by bumping into people, and there's, like, a ton of islands to go to. Admittedly, most of them are kind of bland and uninteresting. There's not a whole lot of, like, exploration here, because, you know, the levels are just thrown down kind of randomly. Uh, but that's, I don't know, it's not so bad. Let's see, 0.8 days here. Doesn't look like we eat a whole lot of food. Maybe maybe we don't eat daily food. Food is more of like a healy thing or something. You know what? It'll probably say. Yep. Heals uh, party members when injured. Good to know. Stop strangers. Leave the Forsaken lands or it shall spell the end of you. Run into a group of Forsaken. Uh, Kill them. Alright, so we've got a Scryer and, a scryer and Stormbender. So I'm just going to start moving forward. Uh, let's see. Can I do anything? Uh, range one, range one. Let's do unbreakable. Figured I'd throw on vigor at the very least. Cannot be affected by a bunch of things. Awesome. And he can't do any attacks. And I'm gonna have her move forward too. Chances are... Yeah. We can't do anything here. So let's just keep skipping uh, turns. Damn. I was really hoping one of these would be close enough to hit. This gives them a slight advantage, owing to the fact that I'm now within range. Owie. Okay, so she is in agony. And... Ouch. Okay. Well, let's go after the Stormcaller. And, let's see, so we could incapacitate or... Well, she doesn't have any buffs, so let's in incapacitate her. Okay, and then chop. Let's just do one. There we go. There's, not, uh, there's no good confirmation that, like anything has been used here. Okay, so we're gonna do Aegis on herself. Technically, maybe should it? Eh, whatever. Okay. So I'm just gonna focus on harrying this character down first. Might as well kill her, right? And that's the healer. Okay, that's a bit of a nuisance, but not a big deal. Let's do... let's do Earthcrack. Might as well make her vulnerable on top of all the other stuff that I'm hitting her with. There, she's dead. Okay, so let's pull him closer. Uh, let's do two. Really? She can't do it? What's the range on this? Oh, it's only diagonals. Weird. Okay, so I'm just going to move her there. We're going to do Dispel. 
on herself. I'll get rid of that. And then let's do... I guess we might as well do Holy Aura, or Nova, or whatever you want to call it, just for the healing. It's not super useful, admittedly, but still. Okay, he didn't freeze. Perfect. So let's move him closer. Uh, let's do Incapacitate again. Didn't work. Okay, and then Chop. Okay, so let's do the grab. Because I'd like to have my guys as healed as possible. Because uh, that means we don't have to worry about healing on the overworld. Ow! And she's dead. Beautiful. Okay, you have murdered the... You have defeated the murderous Forsaken. So, Forsaken me reputation minus one. Uh, Mellow gains steady accuracy by four. We also get some f food and some dust. Awesome. Let's set sail. Turns out marauding and killing people works out well. Okay. Recovering HP. You have an injured character. To restore health to a character, use the food buttons in the portrait. Four HP for two food, two HP for one food. And this is why I did all that healing um, earlier. What's that? That's a forsaken ship. Okay. Uh, while exploring this island, you discover an ancient temple. It's only inhabitant a strange cloaked man. For untold told millennia, I've waited for you, traveler. How's that possible? You can't know who I am. When you live as long as I have, you learn to see the threads of fate. I know you by your destiny, not by your appearance. Then what are you waiting for? At this, the man's mood turns somber. I am the warlock, oath uh, Oathbreaker. I committed a crime that silenced the very gods themselves. I ask you for one thing, which is? Warlock replies, forgiveness. It is not my place or anyone's to forgive you. It is your duty to be a good person. Let's see. To go out into this world and make a difference. Yes, I can do that, but in what way? You've unlocked a companion for your next playthrough. Gaining reputation with races will accumulate fame, which increases your maximum party size. Recruiting a companion costs one rune. Okay. That is up to you. Farewell. Oh, come on. So you won't join my party because I'm not famous enough here. So, made an impression on a race. Gaining reputation, besides various benefits in the world, is essential in Overfall. Overfall. To reach your final goal. Okay, speak, stranger. Uh, let's see. Ask if they need any help. May the sun forgive us all, wanderers. Okay, so... Perfect. We've got another random side quest here. It looks like I can... What is this? Oh, mysterious invaders started pouring from the portal, and their objective is to build a shipyard. Interesting, so there's kind of a time limit on this. I guess it makes sense. Okay. And we can do a short speed boost with dust. Well, for the first playthrough, I think we're just going to go pretty basic here. Uh, and not bother with it. I might still do it, but still. My fellow souls are perished. The Vorn came, and I seek revenge. Let's avenge them. Okay. A cold day to serve a cold meal. Attack the Vorn! So the Vorn are like Vikings. They're also kind of dicks. I don't like them that much. Probably shouldn't move forward like this, but eh, whatever. We'll just do Unbreakable. Okay, and he can't do anything. Oh, right, you can't move past allies in this game. Well! That actually works pretty well in my favor. Let's see, so let's do... Can't do Faithful Pull. I can do Faithful Pull. I'm just gonna move him closer to heal. Uh, let's see. How much damage is Bleed gonna do? One damage every couple of turns. Let's do... Let's do Dispel. Let's get rid of that Bleed. I'll do Healing on the next one, and let's hammer this guy. I'm gonna try and take him down, seeing as he's a ranged unit and annoying. We also have an ally unit here, which helps. Uh, the... The goddamn Viking dudes are not friends. Okay, so I'm just gonna... I could move there, or I could just hit this one. I don't want to be standing in the way too much. Uh, let's do Earth Crack. And Execute, which should kill him. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, and right, he healed up from that. Uh, there's, like, a number of trinkets you can get. His specifically involve, like, healing. Or heals over time, kinda. Ah, shit, she's feared. Okay, now she can do stuff. So let's move closer. Let's do... Aegis of Healing or whatever, and then Holy Nova. 
There we go. This guy's a lot tougher than the other one is. Oh well. What's that? Tormented. Okay, so that's more damage. Ooh, fancy looking move. I like the special effects in this game, so let's skip this one. Let's do... Let's do Vigor. Get rid of those debuffs. And then let's hit this guy. He's not bleeding, is he? No. He is immobilized, which helps. And now he's bleeding. Oh, I see. Cripple. There's a difference between crippled and immobilized. Shield confusion. There are a lot of status effects that get tossed around in this game, honestly. It gets a little bit silly. Okay, so we can do Wave of Light, Blind on Critical Hit, target any Hex. So that's around her, which it's more of like an AoE. Well, let's see if I can finish this guy off. Hopefully the Marksman uh, follows suit. There we go. Okay. So we're just gonna skip that phase, can't do Utility. Okay, and this guy doesn't have anything, and he's enraged, which is annoying. I think he's gonna fear my melee guy. Okay, and do that. So we're gonna do. Oh, I didn't want to do that. All right, whatever. Uh, let's just do. Let's do healing on him. We're gonna need it. And wave of light. I didn't mean to skip. Ah, damn. I didn't mean to skip his uh, our her movement phase because I totally would have done the the call move. Oh well. Damn it, Malo. Luckily, we can do heroically get in there. Let's do unbreakable, which I don't think really helps that much, and execute. Good, except for now we're injured. Oh well, you defeat the Vorn, avenging the Forsaken. Perfect. Let's hop on that ship. Okay, upgrading utility skills. You can upgrade your utility skills with dust by visiting the guild ships, venturing on the ocean. Okay, so we've got to find guild ships. Adventurer ship, dwarf ship. Well, let's bump to these guys and see if they've got a quest for us. Uh, heard any rumors in Discord in the area? Beautiful. Let's keep going. Ah, looks like we're going over there. Well, let's see if I can hit up the... Oh, that... that... Uh, settlement is on fire. Well then. Help someone. Let's see. Life of Crime is a story with no happy endings. Do you think we are happy with this? Tell us what you suggest then. Don't you have any other skill to make an honest living? After a long sigh, one of the bandits interrupts your words. Well, we are really good with their killing business. Oh wait, let's prove it to you. Unfortunately, I just realized... Uh... I'm injured and I haven't bothered healing yet. At least the bandits themselves are not particularly uh, dangerous, but I'm gonna have to be careful here for a second. Okay, so let's do... Can I do the... Can I do the pull? No. Can't do the pull. So let's skip that. Let's do regeneration on him. And yeah, note to self heal before battle next time. Okay, we can't do that. Can we do the hammer? No. Damn. I should have thought of a thing or two here. Okay. So we know he's there, but I don't think I can do anything about it. So I'm going to do that. You're going to do. We're going to do that, and then we're going to hit him. Luckily, these guys seem pretty weak, so we shouldn't have too much to worry about. That bleed sucks, though. Okay, so now let's grab him back. Heal up. Let's dispel his bleed. And then let's do Holy Nova. I want to heal as much as I can. Okay, so that's good. This guy sucks, so let's just hit him. Let's incapacitate him. And let's chop him as well. Okay. So let's skip that phase. Let's do numbing light on him again. I'll give him some more defenses. Now we could do... Wave in front of... I think this will work? Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't exactly how sh uh, I wasn't exactly sure on how that one would work. Okay, let's do Earth Crack. The I don't know if that's going to affect the invisible guy. Okay, and let's start with an Execute. 
we can kill them off, that's great. Okay. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Okay, let's just skip that one. Let's skip that one. Damn, can't do anything, but that's okay. We're not in that much trouble, though. I'm gonna have to remember to heal uh, between... Oh, damn it. What am I doing? Well... It doesn't matter. You're my hero, so I'm, I'm so happy I could kiss you. So we get some food, we get some dust. You're welcome, ma'am. So, now we heal him. Unless the game freezes. Which it might have just done so. Okay, you know what? If it is gonna freeze like this, we have the audio. Yeah, it's totally frozen. Actually, it says it crashed on a different window. Anyway, I think this is actually a good stopping point. It's a little bit early in the episode, but we're actually doing well here. So this is... Chances are this is actually going to run on for quite some time now. Uh, I like this game. It's fun. You know, it's kind of randomly generated. I wish there was more of, like, linear storylines that actually were interesting. Usually they're, like, fetch quest or, like, here's a random short plot segment of, like, why you need to go kill these people. And I wish there were, like, you know, less quests, but more of them had, like, a story to go with it that you actually, like you know, maybe visit several locations on the island, which is specifically what I remember from the demo. And it seems like they went for more of the randomly generated style here. Which, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but still. Uh, but you know, the music is good, the art is great, the gameplay is fun, uh, from like a tactical perspective, and it's got a lot of reasons to keep playing it. So, I like that. I like that a lot from a, like, sort of roguelike sort of not roguelike -y game. Uh, honestly, this reminds me of... Oh shoot, what was that? Uh, 4X roguelike that I played a while back. Thea, The Awakening. Um, th this has some similar elements to it as far as I'm concerned. Even if obviously the games are wildly different. Uh, but I like it. Uh, like I said, I think it comes out like March 3rd, if I'm not wrong. And I recommend it personally. Uh, you know, it's a great tactical RPG. And it's got some good things about it. I can't wait to unlock a couple more classes so I can mess around with, you know, different combinations. And I'd also actually like to have a full party as opposed to just two people. Uh, I do wish that the healing was a little bit easier. Uh, and I do, you know, there's obviously like a number of things that I'd rather here and there. Like, it weirds me out a little bit that I can have a cleric on my boat. Yet I have to use food to heal the rest of the way. That seems really strange to me. Oh well. This is not the end of the world, but uh, I like this video. I, I like this video a lot. No, I like this game a lot, and I want to play more. So, with this, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more overall, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but mainly, hit subscribe because I'm going to be doing a hell of a lot more of this game. I can tell that already. So, I guess with that, I'll see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.